Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk very shortly about how you get the brand new Warframe Citrine from the Citrine's Last Wish. That actually did come out yesterday as of the recording of this video. Uh, Citrine was showed off in one of the dev showcases, uh, showing her off as a brand new Warframe that has a crystal-like appearance. As for her story, I won't go too deep into it, but basically Citrine was a support Warframe that belonged to two lovers that ended up dying and she kind of encased them in crystals. And in fact, the mission that you go to in order to get her will go through some of that story. And I will showcase it here uh, in just a moment. Before you get started with grinding for Citrine, you do need to have the Heart of Deimos unlocked and completed so that you can get a letter from Otak telling you where you can go and start grinding for this Warframe. I will not open up my mailbox right now, as I don't wish to spoil a letter, but basically he tells you to go check out Tiana Pass, which is right here. The mission type of this level is called a Mirror Defense. A Mirror Defense is a new type of mission that they introduced with this update, it seems, that consists of you defending two different points at two separate times. The first one will be on Mars, the second one will be on Venus, and every single round that you decide to go for, it will continue to go back and forth until you decide to finish. It does start between 25 and 30 and ramps up pretty quickly. So about the 6th or 7th round, you are going to be getting into the 50 and 60 level range for most of the combatants that you see. So I do recommend bringing a maxed out Warframe with some mods on it, maybe some polarity, and some weapons that you feel confident in destroying some bad guys with. While in these mirror defense missions, you are going to come across these little things that are these crystals that are either on the ground, in the sky, or hiding behind objects. You should be picking these up as every time you hit 50, you will get a small bonus to both you and to the crystal that you are protecting, and they give you a certain amount of crystals that you can then use to buy things at the shop later. The shop is useful because the drop rate for Citrine is rather low. The drop table as listed on the Wikipedia says that she has a drop rate of about 4.5% every, every, uh, every C round. And the way to kind of explain that is uh, every four rounds, you go through certain pools of things that you can get. Uh, a, the, uh, there's A, Bs, and Cs. Every single one has different things. The train will only show up on rotation C, and rotation C only comes up after every fourth round. So the way it goes is A and B are rounds one and two. Excuse me. A is um, 1 and 2, and then B is 3, and C is 4. And then it will repeat again and again until you are unable to continue and choose to abandon after that. So basically, that means that every 4th, 8th, 12th, and however long is when you will have a 4.5% chance percent chance to go for a piece of Citrine. And it, it is pretty low. That means that on average, roughly every 22 times you do the fourth round you should in theory get one of the pieces but that is not a guarantee so if you were to do all of that you are basically looking at um over 100 rounds of uh getting to round four excuse me you are basically looking at 100 runs over 100 runs of getting to round four before you can get all the parts which is why the shop is very useful uh, the pity for the shop, um, which I will explain in a moment, uh, will have all of the parts in it, and all you need to do is continue grabbing these crystals. Going back to the crystals for a moment, you get five of them whenever you get 50 of those crystals that you pick up, and you also get 10 of them whenever you successfully protect one of the bigger crystals on the battlefield for the full 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Every time that you finish a round, you are welcome to leave with the rest of your teammates or continue. Most people, I have found, will stay at least until round four, since again, that is where Citrine comes from, and so you will have a good chance of at least getting to round four whenever you do that. I do recommend trying to stay until at least round four, or maybe pushing to six if you can help it, since you need so many of these crystals to buy her from the shop, and again, I'll explain that in a moment, uh, you get very little uh, of these during the run. So about every six runs, you're looking at about 110 to 130, and if you can make it up to eight rounds, which I've only done a couple of times, you can get uh, a rare amount of about 150. So if you can make it high, you get a lot of crystals, but if you're lucky, you probably won't even need a lot of them. 
So because of the drop rate for Citrine is very low, a lot of people may have trouble getting all of the parts for her in the actual level of Tiana Pass. At just having a 4% drop chance, it is expected that after 20 to 21 runs where you pass the fourth uh, pool check of C, uh, that you'll probably get one of her parts. So it's quite a few runs just to get one of her parts, and you need all four of them, uh, including the main blueprint, in order to craft her. Now instead, they did include a pity system that you can take advantage of on Deimos, and I will show you that right now. So what you want to do is you actually want to come over here to Otak. Otak is a very friendly little man. You go ahead and click on him and hit Unearth the Tree. So he is going to talk a little bit, and I'm going to try and talk over him. But basically, he will have all of the drops that you can encounter in the level, except for, I believe, the Prex right here and the factory scene i do not believe those drop if they do i probably will never see them drop from the level but the main things that you're going to be focused on is the warframe and the two weapons that she has equipped with her so as uh, i explained earlier you do get these specific crystals by completing different rounds of the mirror defense you get five or ten depending if you can finish the 50 crystals every single round and you get them by just finishing the round in general so, you need you obviously need quite a lot because every single one here costs 350 except for the systems which cost 350 and 300 for some reason <clears throat> and the main blueprint which costs 500. It's a quite a few that totals up to I believe if I did my math correctly um about 1550. I will post the correct number right now, but uh, it requires quite a lot. <clears throat> and you don't get get a lot if you go up to round six or seven uh, in the defense, you only get about 100 to 150. So you need to run the mirror defense. If you want to get just the Warframe, you want to grab all of the blueprints for it, and you have zero luck uh, with actually getting her to drop, you're probably going to have to run this level, I want to say about 12 or 13 times up to round six or seven if you can go above that you will probably get it done faster but if you're looking at round six or seven you're probably going to have to do it 13 or 14 times that's just about how long it takes to get all of the parts you need to buy all of them for that pity and real quickly i did want to go over the different recipes obviously for the main blueprint you just need organ cells and the, the three pieces uh the chassis requires cryotic alloy and the stellated necrothane um, that comes from doing the open world stuff here on Deimos, along with nanospores. The neuroptics requires rubetto, salvage, and uh, the faceted TM, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, Tiamatrite, which also comes from Deimos. And the, uh, excuse me, the systems blueprint requires circuits, polymer, and gallium, and morphics. And this also requires argon crystals, so have fun getting argon crystals. But I did make a short for how to find argon crystals, so... You can brush up on that if you need to figure out where those are. But those should be easy to find. Anyway, once you get all of those together, you are able to craft the main Warframe. As always, it should take about 12 hours for every piece and three days for the main Warframe to be completed. As for the weapons, I feel like they have a little bit better of a drop rate than the actual Warframe. In about five or six rounds, I was able to get quite a few pieces of the weapons here as well as the main blueprints. I'd say the blueprints for the weapons are the most frequent thing to drop. As you can see, I have four blueprints for the scythe here and just one for the gun. But these things drop pretty commonly. So if you would like my advice on where to go with this, do not buy anything until you have all of the crystals for everything. I, maybe not the weapons. I would say don't, uh, don't hold off on the weapons, but buy the Warframe after you've got all the parts for it. So, like I said, it's about 1500 or 50 or whatever the number is. Um, and once you get that, buy the Warframe. Because chances are, you may get a piece before you have to hit that pity. And that will reduce the amount of time. And you don't want to just buy a piece one by one and then, and then get a repeat. That's, that'll suck. So, my advice, do not buy anything from the Warframe until you have all of the crystals you need in order to buy her. That's really about it when it comes down to it, though. 
that's about it for getting the Warframe. She is a bit of a grind, but most Warframes that are pretty good usually are. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like as it is much appreciated. And consider giving all of my content to watch as well. I do try to put a lot of work into it so that it is informative for people. Other than that, I hope you guys are able to get Citrine. Hopefully you have better luck than I do in getting the parts for her. So far, I have not been lucky at all. Maybe I'll be more lucky in the future when I'm not actually recording anything, but we'll see. Other than that, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! -bye.